Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to Sea Turtle Cove. And oh my goodness you guys, good call. Good call last time. So if you guys remember last time we had these mysterious plastic barrels and a whole bunch of car tires washed downstream along with all of these logs and all of these branches after there was a very fierce storm near our cove. And you guys voted instead of like cleaning up more of the, oh, that's a little rock, instead of like putting in guest facilities or planting vegetation or working on the coral reef or anything like that, the vote was strongly in favor of cleaning up those plastic barrels. And that was a very good call because it does turn out that they were full of toxic waste. And if they had cracked open after a few days, they would have made a whole big polluted area with nasty toxic waste everywhere. We would have really, really risked potentially losing all of our animals. And that's just terrible. So you guys really saved the day on voting to remove the plastic barrels. The guests are still starving. We still need to clean up the trash. And the ecosystem continues to move on even though there's so much to do and even though we put our research money into cleaning up those barrels there's still so many things that need our help and so many things that you guys need to decide on based off of what you can figure out from our day to day so we're going to review how the ecosystem is doing we're going to see what goals we need to have we're going to see what the land needs in order to take care of it and we're going to see how our guests are and i'm going to catch you guys up on some changes and developments that have happened here so you know all of the information you need in order to pick what you think the best use of our research money today would be for our sea turtle cove. Remembering at all times that the goal one day, one day we'll be able to climb into this water and the goal is to make it so that we can have 100 sea turtle babies born in this cove. And so far we just have like jellyfish that are beached somewhere and complaining guests, but one day oh, we're losing jellyfish to illness. They don't even eat. I don't even understand where they're dying because they don't even eat. I just don't get that. But yeah, so you guys need need to help me. You know the spiel. You know the deal. And I have some bad news because we have not yet hired maintenance staff to come and take care of all of the trash. That means more trash has started showing up on the beaches. So this is once again trash I need your guys' help to pick up. There's not nearly as much as there was last time, but more of it has started to build up because we don't have the money invested in a regular beach cleanup crew. So whatever you guys leave like, so that would be picking up one of these pieces of trash. And... The other thing is, if we didn't need to pick up that trash, those likes would actually help to do bonus things. And today we're going to have our bonus thing be planting some of the seaweed. So last time you guys voted on cleaning up the plastic barrels, but second in line was actually cleaning up the seaweed. And because you left so many amazing likes last time, we are going to use those 600 likes to equal six patches of seaweed that we will be adding in. So that way we're able to do two things at once. And that's because the money you guys voted on what to use in the straw poll and then the likes show a lot of support for the sea turtle cove and so we'll use that for the second thing in the straw poll so that way we're able to get even more done because of your guys excitement and your guys enthusiasm except as long as there's trash that's going to use up the likes instead of being on that bonus item it has to go towards cleaning up the trash instead so that's something to consider when it comes to maintenance staff also it appears we have a child running wild and free in the cove that's not a good thing I'm not a, I'm not a lifeguard, but I think we need to go rescue her. Oh my gosh, child. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I think we need to grab her. Tamara, for crying out loud. And let's put her back on the proper path. And she's waiting in line at the Coca-Cola machine. Oh my goodness, what? Yeah, it looks like we need staff or somebody to come and take care of the kids and take care of the trash. So there's things to remember. And let's go check on the trash situation. And we did not clean up all of these branches. And there's a whole bunch, oh my gosh. There's a whole bunch of trash everywhere. Look at this, this is disgusting. It's just overflowing all over the place. Is that another child? Oh my goodness, it appears that we need to get like a lifeguard in place. What if somebody drowns? That would, we would get in so much trouble for that. We would get in so much trouble. There are just children running everywhere. Oh my gosh, we could get in so much trouble. Oh my goodness, there's so many people. They're happy about something, maybe just to be at the beach, but they need playgrounds, statues, fountains, kiosks, they're bored. They're not being educated. They keep leaving trash everywhere that we can't even keep up with. Oh my gosh. So, oh, by the way, you guys did vote on what kind of trash cans you enjoyed. So we will be kind of alternating the paradise trash cans with the underwater trash cans. Because that was, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And the beach trash cans. So I think we'll just have tons and tons of trash cans. I can't believe this. I guess today, since we're going to have to pick up so much litter. Oh my gosh. 
Look at all of this. Look at all of this. This is just, you people. You people are just so, I can't even believe it. Do, can, do I need to like empty that? Guess need more places to rest. But yeah, we're keeping very busy over here. And we have to remember taking care of the guest is something that we need to consider as well. Oh my gosh. Does this need emptied already? But last time we did not mess with all of these branches and we did not mess with all of the trees that the logs that had insects in them. And something very interesting has happened as a result, you guys. We have some new residents on our beach who have shown up. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. It's a grebe! Look at it! Look at its adorableness. It's a little grebe, everyone. So congratulations. Oh, he's doing flamingo foot. I love flamingo foot. The grebe has arrived here in our cove. So Sea Turtle Cove now has some sea birds. And so these are the crested grebes. They are here because they do eat insects. We need to make sure that they have the right kind of insects to eat, but they do eat insects. So they're here to eat the insects out of our log. So they are sea birds that have landed. These are technically greater crested grebes but we also will consider them like the pied billed grebes which are very common here in North America and they're pretty awesome because the name grebe the Latin name grebe actually refers to feet at the buttocks so <laughs> apparently that's an apt name for these birds because their feet are located near their rear ends and they have like a very short stout chunky little body i think they're really really adorable and they are extremely fast in water so they're really really great at swimming they're really great at diving and looking for food in the water but they walk very awkwardly and they're so adorable all right but they should have plenty of food so if it says it's really hungry well, guess what, my friend? There's plenty of insects out and about, so let's make sure, because they do have insects from the insect log, so this is A-OK. -okay. All right, let's see, and we'll put them next to the insect logs, because they should be able to eat from the hollow log with insects, but if they're going to be stubborn about it, then we'll just have to say the insects are kind of pouring out. There we go. There's some happy ones. All right, so that seems to take care of them. But yes, yeah, so we do have grebes here, and that means some shorebirds have showed up because there is some biological matter on the beach shore that will feed them. So they will hopefully be able to eat lots and lots of these delicious insects, maybe stick around for a while, even have some adorable babies. And the chicks are actually really, really cute for these grebes because they leave the nest after the first day that they hatch, and then they spend much of their first week of life riding on their parents' back, which is just so adorable that is just so 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 cute and they aren't very good at flying um but you can kind of find them as far as like the hawaiian islands hi but you're not gonna these aren't really like the kind of birds that are going to travel the world in a single day oh my gosh they're so or like not in a single day like in a single year the way that some shore birds were shore bird shore birds will there we go shore birds oh my gosh <laughs> that's like seashells at the seashore kind of trickiness are really amazing oh my goodness they're so cute look at you look at you wow look at that it's just so cool look at him eat Oh my gosh, that's just so cool. I need to have like plenty of room for these pictures. I need like a new album. All right, we need to make a new album really quick. Sea Turtle Cove. Because I need somewhere to keep all of this awesomeness. Hi, little guys. Oh my gosh, look at you. I really like you. And then we'll just have to clear the rest of those. There we go. Oh my gosh, she's just too cool. But yeah, the grebes are pretty interesting. Not very good flyers, much more aquatically based. I wonder what's gonna happen if they poop everywhere. I guess we can clean the poop up for now, but if we had somebody that we could hire to kind of monitor the animals, like a biologist who could help monitor the animals, could make sure that they're cleaned up after, could make sure that their general health is A-OK, -okay, and probably keep them healthier here in our cove. So, hmm, we might wanna invest, oh gosh, they're just pooping everywhere. We might wanna invest in a biologist, not to mention if we did have a biologist, then they could see if there's other species. Child, I need a lifeguard to keep the kids out of the water. <laughs> Without a lifeguard, I don't think I can get the kids out of the water. So fooey. Um, yeah, we might invest in biologists who could potentially find more species that we would overlook because they would be studying the beaches and looking for species of maybe birds or species of lizards that might show up around here that we just don't have time to find because we're busy trying to clean up after guests and cleaning up all of this trash. Oh my gosh, there's just so many people. There's just so many people. 
And we could add in some binoculars for our guests to be able to review everything and even watch the birds too. And there has been rumor that there were even some birds on this side. So we did have some sharp-eyed people say that, oh, look at all this nasty trash we've got to clean up. That up next to some of these other logs, they may have seen, let's see, anybody over here? Anybody over here? Oh, who are you? <gasps> the very rare ivory build woodpecker! So a woodpecker who has shown up probably to eat the little insects that are over here. Oh, it's a female! It's a female and a male! So we have a mated pair of woodpeckers who appear to be here on the coast eating off of the insects that they have found in the rotting logs. That's amazing because these guys are quite rare and they are endangered they are critically endangered if i remember correctly where's all your information there you go yeah critically endangered they're pretty rare pretty uncommon they might be here for nesting you guys that would be really exciting to see oh my gosh so we'll have to see if they decide to nest i'm very very thrilled to learn more about them too i love woodpeckers and they really kind of show up all over the place too which i didn't know but woodpeckers are quite common all over the place all right, so we have a mated pair of ivory billed woodpeckers who are hanging out and the crested grebes. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys about the grebes. I learned that the pied billed grebes and other types of grebes. Oh, see, and we would need a biologist to clean up this poop too and make sure that the animals stay healthy while we're trying to take care of everything else. But I did learn that grebes actually eat large quantities of their own feathers. So they are birds that will eat their own feathers. Up to half of their stomach contents will be their own feathers. And the reason that they do that is because it ends up creating a plug that prevents really sharp pieces from crustaceans or from the clams and the, the uh, shellfish that they eat from going into their intestines. So those feathers actually kind of act like a catch that catches those really sharp pieces that could hurt their intestines. And it becomes a little pellet that then they just kind of throw up. But that prevents them from having having their intestines punctured and dying from that because that would be horrific if that happened. And I thought that was amazing. So actually eating their own feathers and feeding babies feathers is an evolutionary trait that they do so that that way they don't have their intestine punctured by all of the sharp little shellfish that they eat. But we don't have any shellfish, you guys. And there's a car tire in there. Oh, we'll have to get that out. All right. But anybody else over here? <gasps> there's bird poop. There's bird poop here. All right. So we'll have to see what that means. Ew! Somebody's been eating the worms! Oh my goodness! See, and if we had a biologist, they could make sure that the worm and the insect population stay, uh, stay up and about. Oh my gosh! <gasps> Look at you! So it's another little shorebird! Undeterminate little shorebird! And I think I hear snoring! I hear snoring! There's snoring of tiny things and bird poop! We need biologists in order to study this, but... I don't know if that's where we're going to want to spend our next chunk of money. So that's going to be up to you guys. If we should have biologists to continue discovering little species that are hiding in the nooks and crannies. Or if we should continue focus on our next big project. Which is going to be adding in six patches. Or if we should get a a uh, lifeguard so that we can remove the children and everybody else who fall into the water here. My goodness. But we are going to be adding in six patches for the 600 likes from last time as bonus additions to our zoo this time of seaweed. Because seaweed was the second highest voted thing from last time. So seaweed and we'll put in six. And as time goes on, this seaweed might start spreading. All right, the water's too shallow. Up over here. One. The seaweed might start spreading. Two, three, four five, six. And with seaweed in here, that can start helping to support some populations of turtle. As you guys remember from last time, there are several different populations of turtle that rely on jellyfish and that rely on seaweed. And we can add in various turtles. That is an option you could pick now, but you have to ask yourself, is this enough to support a big population? And if you want to research things like manatees, because they would eat the seaweed and seagrass, then you have to ask yourself, but is this enough seaweed or would the manatee eat all of it and then there would be no more and then we would have to start all over again so try to keep in mind just how much we have and the fact that it might be a little hard to keep growing it when it comes to deciding if that's something that we want to do now add in those animals now so we'll put like little little clusters and then as time goes on these little clusters will spread and as the little clusters spread there'll be more feeding stations for the seaweed but if the seaweed gets eaten up before it spreads then it'll be gone and we'll have to start fresh. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's get away for a second. Yep, look at all this. 
Look at all this. Ah, jellyfish beached on land. What are you doing over there? I'll try to help you. And the jellyfish are really hungry because they actually eat fish. So should we be adding in fish soon? Should we be helping the jellyfish? Without a healthy jellyfish population, we are going to lose out on having uh, any of the leatherbacks or any of the other guys who eat the jellyfish. The lampreys are doing good because they're cannibalizing each other. Good grief. But there we go, you guys. The guests are starving. We have six small patches of seaweed thanks to you guys giving that extra support. So we'll start doing it that way where you guys will vote on the straw poll on the number one thing we should spend money on. And then whatever hits number two on the straw poll, it'll be based off of the likes as a way to kind of show that extra community support and get things moving, grooving, and going. And don't worry, all the car tires, we did pay somebody to remove all of the car tires, so I'm going to have to sass them out and have them remove that. That's not something you need to worry about voting on. That'll be removed. But yeah, if we want to take care of these animals, we might need a biologist to monitor like the poop, scoop the poop and study it, make sure that there's no parasites or anything in their diet. And we'll have to see, do you think they're going to have babies for us? I would love it if they did. Oh my goodness, that would be so cool. And what if our guests want to have binoculars to be able to watch the shorebirds? Or is it time to add in sea turtles because we do need to keep this challenge going till the 100th baby sea turtle is born? Ah, so many questions, so many choices. And I really look forward to seeing what you guys are going to pick. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you guys doing the very complicated mating ritual that grebes do? Ah, and there's more awesome facts to tell you about the grebes and more children that we need to rescue from the water. And it's all in your hands. So I can't wait to see what you all vote on and I will see you next time. Bye guys